Carolina Bolivar left Venezuela six years ago, escaping unbearably harsh economic and political conditions under President Nicolás Maduro. But her time here in the Colombian capital has not been easy. To make a living, she sells coffee on the streets of Bogotá while caring for her nine-year-old daughter. She says she's hoping the upcoming presidential elections will give her the opportunity to return home to be with the rest of her family. I have the hope and faith that we will kick out the government, that things will change, and that I will be able to return to my country. Most of the Venezuelans abroad want this badly, that the president leaves and the country gets fixed. Bolívar, like many others, are putting their faith in the opposition candidate Edmundo González Urrutia, one of his campaign pledges to bring back migrants living abroad. There's no doubt that the upcoming elections represent the most serious challenge yet to unseat Venezuelan President Nicolás Maduro. Opinion polls favor the opposition, but in a context of ongoing repression against critics, nobody here believes that the elections will be fair. Some five million Venezuelans who are eligible to vote live outside the country, many in shanty towns like this one on the outskirts of Bogotá. They represent an important electoral group. But government numbers show that only 107,000 have been allowed to register to vote. Critics have denounced the nearly impossible requirements needed to register, like demanding migrants hold residency visas in the country where they reside, or valid passports that are often very expensive. Some migrants just gave up, refusing to even try. I never registered because everybody already knows who will win. And that's probably why the government always wins, because people are disillusioned with the process and don't vote. And that's wrong, I know. But I do the same. Why vote if they won't let anybody else win? <laughs> With the election looming, Venezuelan migrants seesaw between hope and fear, knowing that the results could define their options to return or force many more to leave. Alessandro Rampietti, Al Jazeera, Bogotá. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.